dear students you are welcome to today's lesson i am mr idubu olajiri tafik the subject i will teach you now is english language and the topic is the past tense now our objectives at the end of the lesson the students will be able to one define past tense two identify the types three use past tenses correctly again define past tense identify the types and lastly use past tenses correctly now let's look at the definition of the past tense it is used to refer to actions that took place in the past it's a type of action which is not relevant to the present it indicates a just concluded action in addition it is used to talk about hypothesis and politeness that means the past tense can be defined as a just concluded action and it can also be used to indicate politeness for example he went to the market he went to the market he was working as a teacher he was working as a teacher he had been living in that house since august he had been living in that house since august the students had written the note before the teacher entered the classroom the students had written the note before the teacher entered the classroom there are four types of past tenses one the simple past tense two the past perfect tense three the past continuous tense and four the past perfect continuous tense the simple past tense the past perfect tense the past continuous tense and the past perfect continuous the simple past tense the simple past tense denotes an action that happened in the past and has no connection with the present with most verbs the past tense is formed by adding the suffix ed to the verb for example verbs like worked created waited etc they are verbs ending with ed and it can also accept irregular verbs such as spoke rang taught run so that means the simple past tense means a just concrete action which can take ed as its past verb or it can take irregular verbs let's look at the uses of the simple past tense one it is used to denote an action that happened once in the past to denote an action that happened once in the past e.g she met her husband in 1988 she met her husband in 1988 he wrote the note on the board he wrote the note on the board the principal advised the student the principal advised the student he worked bitterly yesterday he worked bitterly yesterday the thief jumped the fence the thief jumped the fence these are good examples of actions which denote that it happened once in the past it can also be used to denote an action that happened regularly in the past an action that happened regularly in the past e.g he ate a lot when he was a child he ate a lot when he was a child she usually sang songs in the evening she usually sang songs in the evening Alimot always talked about her beauty. Alimot always talked about her beauty. He visited Lagos frequently. He visited Lagos frequently. It can also be used to denote action that was true for some time in the past. To denote an action that was true for some time in the past. Aging, she lived with her parents for 20 years. She lived with her parents for 20 years. She was married to that man some years back. She was married to that man some years back. He was my friend in those days. He was my friend in those days. The houses were at this spot two years ago. The houses were at this spot two years ago. It can also be used to indicate formal expression. To indicate formal expression. E.g. Sir, could you please lend me your pen? Sir, could you please lend me your pen? The governor should build more schools. The governor should build more schools. The commissioner should work with the governor. The commissioner should work with the governor. The principal should address the students. 
the principal should address the student. And lastly, it can be used after words such as I time, time etc. E.g., it is high time you stopped watching night movie and it is time you woke up to your responsibilities. I'm going to pause here and when I come back with the next segment, I will teach you more aspect of the past days. Good day, students. You are welcome to the second part of today's lesson. The topic is the past tense. The past tense. Now, let us continue with our lesson with the past perfect tense. The past perfect tense. Let me quickly define what we call the past perfect tense. The past perfect tense denotes an action that happened before another action in the past. The tense makes it clear which action happened first. It is used to describe two actions that occurred in the past. It takes had with past participle verb. Let me read it again. Let me explain what we call the past perfect tense. The past perfect tense denotes an action that happened before another action in the past. That means it indicates two actions which started and were concluded in the past. The two actions never have any relation with the present situation. The actions started in the past and were concluded in the past. And the past perfect tense will always take had with past participle verb. Had with past participle verb. Now let us look at the uses of the past perfect tense. The past perfect tense is used to one, indicate an action that started in the past and continued to the given time in the past. It indicates an action that started in the past and continued up to the given time in the past. Now let us see this example. The train had left the station before I arrived. The train had left the station before I arrived. They had swum to safety when the rescuers arrived at the scene. They had swum to safety when the rescuers arrived at the scene. He had recorded this course before the teacher got to the classroom. He had recorded this course before the teacher got to the classroom. It can also be used for an action done several times up to a point in the past and continued after that point. For an action done several times up to a point in the past and continued after that point. E.g., he had written three letters and he was working on the fourth. He had written three letters and he was working on the fourth. It can also be used to report our experience or it can be used to report our experiences up to the present. That means we can use the past perfect tense to report experiences. For example, I was pleased to meet Rashidat, whom I hadn't met before. I was pleased to meet Rashidat, whom I hadn't met before. It can also be used for an action that happened in the past, but is important at the time of reporting. Let me say it again. For an action that happened in the past, but is important at the time of reporting. For example, she wasn't at home. She had gone to the market. She wasn't at home. She had gone to the market. These are the various uses of the past perfect tense. Don't forget I said the past perfect tense 
will take the verb had with past participle verb and it has various uses which i've been able to explain i am going to pause here and when i come back for the last part of this lesson i'm going to teach you the other two types of the past tense thank you students you are welcome to the last part of today's lesson the topic is the past tense the past tense now let us continue with the third type which is called the past continuous tense the past continuous tense is used to describe actions that began in the past and often continued for a short period of time after the action started these things describes actions or events that happened at a specific time in the past it is formed from the past tense of the verb be with ing suffix that is the past continuous tense is formed with was or where with ing verb was or where with ing verb now the uses one it is used for an action going on at some time in the past for an action going on at some time in the past e.g the children were eating dinner when their parents got home i was watching tv yesterday evening my uncle came when i was reading the novel the children were sleeping in the morning the children were sleeping in the morning two to denote a change of mind to denote a change of mind e.g i was going to play cricket but i have decided to finish my homework instead I was going to play cricket, but I have decided to finish my homework instead. 3. To denote an action happening repeatedly. To denote an action happening repeatedly. E.g., they were always fighting. He was always bullying his siblings. He was always bullying his siblings. Now let's go for the last type, which is called the past perfect continuous tense the past perfect continuous tense the past perfect continuous tense denotes an action that started in the past and continued up to another point in the past it is formed using had been with ing form of the verb had been with ing form of the verb student please take note of the being it is spelled b e e n b e e n had been with ing form of the verb now uses one it is used for something that started in the past and continued up until another time in the past for something that started in the past and continued up until another time in the past e.g he had been exercising for an hour before his mother arrived Mudupe had been walking three miles a day before she broke her leg. He had been writing an interesting essay for two hours before his teacher stopped him. He had been writing an interesting essay for two hours before his teacher stopped him. Lastly, it is used to show cause and effect. To show cause and effect. E.g., he was tired because he had been exercising he was tired because he had been exercising now references one english grammar by shela sholari english grammar by shela sholari two contemporary english grammar by jd modi contemporary english grammar by jd modi or you can go on www.mbredonvo.com www.mbredonvo.com 
Now, your classwork. Fill the blanks with correct form of verbs in the following sentences. Fill in the blanks with correct form of verbs in these following sentences. One, my friend said he dashed a reporter. Is it is or was? Two, he had dashed the letter. Is it riffing or wrote? Three, we have dash waiting for you. Is it been or been? And four, they dash to school every day. Is it works or works? Student, this is the end of today's lesson. Thank you. God bless you.